Caleb Russell will try to keep the win streak alive, coming off three wins in a row. But today, he'll have some added competition as Stu Baylor makes his return to GNCC aboard the Ampro Yamaha. Round number nine of the Grand National Cross Country Racing Series on MAV TV starts now. Are you ready to go GNCC Racing? Well, hello again, folks, and welcome to the Rocky Mountain ATV MC Mountaineer. I'm Mikey Waynes, and I'll be taking you through today's racing action. And to get us started, we'll take a look at the specialized race recap. Round number eight, the specialized race recap here. Uh, it was a wild one with four, that's right, four KTMs out front early. The leader of those four with the whole shot, Josh Toth. And early in this one, it was a lot of Josh Toth. As a matter of fact, he battled with Caleb Russell throughout the day, going back and forth several times. Uh, Caleb had his work cut out for him, starting there kind of middle of the pack of that XC1 class, but was able to move up quickly into that number two spot. And before you knew it, was able to get out in front of Josh Toth, as we'll hear, see here in just a second. These guys uh, absolutely ripped and rolled the two KTMs of Josh Toth and Caleb Russell, riding out like they were on another planet in round number eight. And this right here, huge, huge lead change right there. That is uh, Caleb Russell, the machine smoking right there, creates the opportunity for Toth to get back out front. And for a while, we thought, this is Toth's race. He's going to snag the win here. Caleb, the machine smoking, will it hold up? Will he even have a shot of finishing this one? Sure enough, a determined Caleb Russell, not giving up, able to work his way back around Josh Toth and snag his seventh win of the season. What an incredible ride out of him. A frustrated Caleb Russell takes the win, and uh, you can see it in his uh, body language right there. Got the win, not real happy. Taking a look at the top 10 from round number eight, Caleb Russell again snagging that seventh win of the season, Toth finishing second, and Josh Strength keeps that podium streak alive. Dry and dusty as it was today, I felt like we took a big gamble and not changing our filter, you know. We uh, learned our lesson at High Point last year on these same exact conditions, and we did it again. So, you know, history has a funny way of repeating itself, and. Um, I got the pit board on the last lap, saved the bike, and uh, as soon as I got that pit board, I looked back and I seen it was smoking, then I lost power, and um, I was frustrated, and I fell over and I broke my shifter, so then I couldn't short shift, and uh, I was just cruising around, and um, I kept looking back, and Toth was nowhere that, not there, so I think he was petering out, or he was trying to save his bike too, and, um, uh, and he got up to me in the field, and I, I couldn't race with him, or I would have just tanked it right there, so. Um, there's a lapper in front of him. He tried to cut early up a hill, and I just railed the berm. I was like, we're like, I can push my bike. It's all downhill to the finish from here. If it blows up on the top of the hill, I can I can make it in and get second. So I went for it, got around him, and won the race. I don't know how. Well, there he is, Stu Baylor, making his return to GNCC today aboard the Ampro Yamaha. How's he going to do? Well, the wait is over. We're about to find out. And Rodney Tomlin down on the starting line with that iconic 10-second call. Ricky Towery waves the flag, and we are off and rolling in the XC1 class. Whole shot award up for grabs, courtesy of All Balls Racing, and it is Caleb Russell out in front early. Boy, how about that? Good start for Andrew DeLong right there, up into the number two spot. See how this one shakes down once we head into the woods here. Again, Caleb still out in front, and there he is, Andrew DeLong. Boy, that's the best start of the season for the uh, Phoenix Racing Honda of Andrew DeLong right there. 
Uh, not the best start for Stu Baylor. We'll see how that one plays out here. And Lane Michael in the back of the pack. Lane, one of those guys normally up there in the front with Caleb Russell. Uh, row number two, the XC2 250 Pro Class. Another whole shot award up for grabs, courtesy of Hot Cams. And how about it? The uh, number 20 4K team of Samuel Evans in the 99. Beta machine of Cody Barnes duking it out right there, jockeying for position earlier, or early. And into the woods we go, and it's Cody Barnes out in front now. A uh, great start for Barnes here. He's been consistent all year, but that win in the XC2 class has eluded him so far this year. Maybe he can change things up today and snag a win on the number 99 beta machine. And we'll head back down to the starting line here for the start of row number three, our FMF XC3, the 125s. Nothing sounds better than the 125s singing through the woods at a GNCC. They're off and rolling. And there he is, the number 100 Yamaha of Jason Reigns with the early lead, the whole shot, and a slew of those young guns behind him jockeying for position in the number two spot. And there he is, the old Wiley veteran himself, Jason Reigns, the number 100 Yamaha, still out in front into the woods. And we're off and rolling here at the Rocky Mountain ATV MC Mountaineer GNCC. Can Caleb keep the win streak going? How will Stu Baylor do on the Ampro Yamaha? GNCC continues after this. Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Well, welcome back to Grand National Cross Country on MAV TV. The 530 of Ben Kelly currently out in front followed closely by the 514 Ampro Yamaha of Stu Baylor in second, Andrew DeLong in third, right up there battling with the leaders. And if you're wondering where Caleb Russell is, well, he's back there in the number seven spot right now. Uh, obviously a lot of racing left. These recap episodes, only 30 minutes long, but keep in mind, these pro bike uh, GNCC races, three hours long. So Caleb Russell, not out of this one by any means. They're on screen, Jordan Ashburn in fifth. And I believe there he is, Caleb Russell, right there in the number six spot, trying to do some work, catch up to these guys. And there's Grant Baylor right behind him on that rear wheel. Ben Kelly back on screen as he's trying to put a little bit of gap between him and the rest of the guys. Stu Baylor though, relentless right there in the number two spot. And boy, how about it? a little bit of distance now being created between Stu and uh, Ben and the rest of the pack waiting on third place to come through. There he is, Josh Toth moving through there in the number three spot. Andrew DeLong falls one spot back into fourth, but still fantastic race for him. And Caleb Russell, what we told you, Caleb Russell on the move right now up into the top five. And like we said, a lot of racing left in this one. Look for Caleb to uh, make some moves before this one's all said and done. And look at that. Boy, there, there we go. Now we got ourselves a battle. Different line choices there for Stu Baylor and Ben Kelly, and it's still Kelly out in front, Stu in that number two spot. Fantastic start for both of those riders. Got some good stuff going on right here at the Mountaineer GNCC, a track that we have only raced at one other time outside of this year. Our first time here was last year. Lane Michael on screen right there. And so this is the second time we've been at this track and certainly a track that gives these guys a little bit of everything. No doubt about that, a classic GNCC, if you will. And how about this, a new leader on screen, the 514 Ampro Yamaha of Stu Baylor moves into the number one spot. Are you kidding me? And Stu through the five mile marker there was looking very, very smooth. Good stuff for Stu Baylor right now, and good things if you're a Stu Baylor fan. And boy, yeah, they're definitely getting some time up. How about that? Kick that stick up. Don't see that every day. <laughs> Lane Michael Breeze is brought by right there. And uh, you 
you got to, your hat is off to a guy like Stu Baylor. There he is on screen again, out in front. And Stu, a guy that, keep in mind, has not raced a GNCC since round number three. Are you kidding me? He comes out here, you kind of wonder, where is he going to be? I don't think anybody thought he'd be out front battling. Maybe Stu Baylor thought that, maybe his wife, maybe his team, but if you asked anybody else, they'd say, maybe a top three, maybe a top five. Of course, we got a lot of racing left, but uh, nonetheless, fantastic start for Stu Baylor as the rest of the XC1 riders ripping through right there. Jordan Ashburn on the uh, Kawasaki coming through. And how about that? Wow, would you look at that? A little four-way battle right there with the XC1 guys. Just how we like it. Whoo, we got ourselves a barn burner here at the Mountaineer GNCC. We'll be back right after this. Ah, uh, yes, a look at our EMTB racing action, the newest addition to the GNCC racing series, and that guy right there, Charlie Mullins. He's got a number one plate for a reason. The man is fast. I don't even know if he's human, to be completely honest with you. Coming off a national championship in 2019, the first year uh, that we had a full season of EMTB racing. And, uh, boy, the, the campaign for that man right there, Charlie Mullins, looks to be uh, taking his second national championship here at the GNCC. And there is something you don't want to see. That is the 206 KTM of Josh Toth. He's taking the gloves off. The helmet is off. He's done for the day. And that is an absolute heartbreaker if you're Josh Toth or a Josh Toth fan after a fantastic start was up there battling with the front runners. Heartbreaker. Sue Baylor back in action. And wow, is he come? has he come out swinging in this one? Uh, again, I said it earlier, but it just blows my mind. The guy hasn't raced a GNCC since round three. He started the season on a Sherco. Now, keep in mind, we also had summer break in there. So there was summer break with no racing. And then he jumped on a Kawasaki, took some wins at some Enduros. And then he comes out and he says, I'm racing the M Pro Yamaha. And we thought maybe a top five, maybe a top three. And here he is leading the Mountaineer GNCC. Ben Kelly on screen right there, still in that number two spot. It's a little squirrely right there, able to maintain control and keep it on two wheels and in to the pits we go. The Ampro Yamaha pits. Stu Baylor, fresh set of goggles, some fuel. Good stuff right there. And uh, how about that? That is uh, Stu's wife, Jade, right there saying, stay strong, babe, stay strong. Well, I'd say babe is staying pretty strong right now. Ben Kelly right there on screen passing by in that number two spot. So these two guys in control of this one. We jump back a little bit of ways here. There's Caleb Russell on screen and Lane Michael. Woo, Lane getting a little wild right there. Able to keep it on two wheels. Grant Baylor, in the meantime, working up into the number five spot. Not a bad deal for him. So we should see Caleb Russell checking into the pits here in just a second. As Caleb's getting up through this tight section right here. And Grant follows behind. Different line choices for both riders. Look a little rough right there for the grizzly bear of uh, Grant Baylor. So Caleb Russell checks into the pits here. And I know we've said it before in other episodes. If you're not familiar, these pit stops, such an important part of GNCC racing. As you can see, typical pit, sp pit stop, you're getting fuel, you're getting a new set of goggles, you're getting yourself rehydrated, and you're off and rolling. Doesn't take these guys really any amount of time as long as it operates like a well-oiled machine. A pit stop can make or break a race for a rider, whether it's a youth rider, an amateur, uh, or a pro rider. Certainly a huge, huge factor at the GNCCs. Stu Baylor, who we saw just pass through there, and Ben Kelly in the number two spot and reach this point in the race here. Or if you're familiar with GNCC, you know about it. If you're just watching for the first time, you're thinking, why was that guy going so slow? Well, he's not slow, he's fast, but these pro guys are very fast. Those are our lap traffic. We've got the amateur classes out there at the same time as our pro classes. So lap traffic, as the race wears on, 
another element of GNCC that can be a big factor in a make or break for a rider. Ben Kelly and Stu Baylor putting on a clinic right now. Kelly doing everything it can to try and catch up to Stu Baylor, but has not been able to so far. We'll see as the race wears on if he can chip away at that gap that he's got between those two right now. This track here again, Summit Bechtel Ranch, a place we've uh, we've only raced at the one time last year, return here for his second year. Uh, but as you can see in most of these shots here, mostly made up of this hard packed, slick surface, plenty of rocks. Uh, it is, as the riders would say, a gnarly one to say the least. So Stu Baylor on the Ampro Yamaha back on screen right there. This guy's having fun right now. You look at his body language, the way he is coursing this racetrack, it just looks like Sue Baylor's having fun, and maybe that's the most important thing. Maybe that's what's making the difference for him right now. Ben Kelly right there in that number two spot. Well, Sue Baylor's back, and who knew? He's leading the Rocky Mountain ATV MC GNCC. Can he snag a win? GNCC on MAV TV continues after this. Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV-TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E-Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATVMC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Well, the man has not raced a GNCC since round number three of this season. He's on a new bike, the Ampro Yamaha. And I gotta say, it's working out very, very well right now for the 514 of Stu Baylor. He's led a large majority of this Mountaineer GNCC. And if he can hang on for the win, what a statement it will be. Ben Kelly has given it everything he's got. Another rider with some ups and downs this year. Uh, he's got to feel good about uh, second place right now. Certainly know that Ben Kelly wants to get up there, fight for the win, and get a win. But boy, Stu Baylor today just won't be denied. The guy looks like he's having fun, and fun is exactly what this is right here. He is rubbing the revving the absolute guts out of that 514 Ampro Yamaha as he is around in the last little corner here and in to the finish line to take the checkered flag for Mr. Ricky Towery. And how about that? Welcome back to GNCC. Stu Baylor wins the Mountaineer GNCC. You know, it's uh, it, one year you've got the, the big A-class motor home and everything going for you and uh, a, a huge offer. And then the next year, um, you know, somebody dumps you on your head and leaves you with nothing. And that's kind of where I was. And, um, you know, I, I knew when I came back to, to the GNCCs that I was going to have to leave absolutely nothing out on the track. And um, that's what I did today. And, uh, you know, I, the, the fans out there were just unreal. I mean, that was that was the most that, that was the most uh, I think I've ever seen the fans piped up. Um, you know, snowshoe is always good. Steel Creek's always good. But I think I, I don't know what it is. I've been saying it all weekend. This, these Yamaha guys, it's not like followers they have like a cult following <laughs> these guys are insane so um you know they kept me going from the lap from the first lap to the last lap and uh you know i could see as soon as i came through that last rock, rock garden people were sprinting towards the finish line and um you know it was, it was awesome these guys kept me going all day well congratulations again to Stu baylor on the big win I gotta say i haven't seen him smile that big probably since his first win back at big buck a few years ago and there's ben kelly finishing in the number two spot. Yeah, last year was pretty unreal, you know. I I won almost every race, and uh, yeah, so then coming to this season, I was I was excited and confident, and fortunately had, had a little crash and an injury, so I was out for the first half, and you know, I'm just rebuilding now, and uh, so it feels good to, to run up front and, and land back on the podium here, and, and I hope to, uh, to keep going, keep building, and, and fight for that win uh, at the next race. Well, a solid ride today for the 5.30 KTM, finishing in the number two spot on the day. And Caleb Russell, not the best day for him, but, boy, if you're going to have a bad day and you still finish third, it's pretty daggone good. We'll head down to the podium with Caleb Russell. Um, playing catch-up for the most part. Uh, I, got the whole, I got the whole shot, and then um, 
halfway through the first lap there, I just kind of went wide in a turn and I got hung up in a tree. It got underneath my, it was bent over, so I couldn't, I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't go to the left. There was a ditch on my left and I couldn't get back on the track. So I had to like get off my bike and pull it back. And by that time I was in last, but um, just, I, I wasn't going really fast. I didn't, didn't have the flow there at the beginning and um, those guys got away. I knew uh, Ben was going to be riding good. He, you know, he's, you know, lives in this kind of terrain his whole life. He grew up in it, and I haven't really been up north at all this year. So uh, this is my first uh, experience this year in these slick, rocky conditions. And um, yeah, I had a couple big ones there the, at the beginning of the race, and I just had to settle down and just kind of ride ride into it like I would normally would a race. And um, got up into third, and yeah, I just kept that kind of steady pace and try not to fall down because it was super easy. It was raining on half the one side of the track and the other side was still a little dry, but um, overall it got really slick and icy. Well, taking a look now at the Specialized Race Recap. Uh, in round number nine, the Mountaineer GNCC started a whole lot like most rounds this season. Caleb Russell snagging the whole shot and the early lead in this one did not take long for the 5.30 to work his way up the pack. Great start also by Andrew DeLong on the Honda, battling up there with the front runners early in this one. And Josh Toth, another guy was on the screen there. Tough break for him, ended up leaving the race and would not return. So again, Ben Kelly ends up working his way into the front spot and uh, behind him, he had the Ampro Yamaha for a little bit until he got in the lead right there. Stu Baylor out in front in this one. And really from this moment, Stu Baylor would not look back. There would be some pretty good battles between him and Ben Kelly throughout the day. It was kind of that accordion effect. As soon as you'd see him reel him in, he'd fall back a little bit. Reel him in, fall back a little bit. But uh, boy, what a fantastic ride. What a fantastic feeling. If you are a Stu Baylor fan, if you are Stu Baylor, you got to feel good about how today went. Has it been at a GNCC to race since round three? Missed six rounds of racing summer break all of that he was on a Sherco he was on a Kawasaki he comes back no goggles right there comes back on the Ampro Yamaha and gets the job done what a ride out of the 514 today congratulations to Stu Baylor snagging the win here at the Mountaineer GNCC well folks that's gonna be it you've been watching Grand National Cross Country on MAV-TV, I'm Mikey Waynes. We'll see you at the races.